Every year, Volunteers of America helps more than 2 million people in over 400 communities in 48 states. Since 1896, we have supported and empowered America's most vulnerable groups, including at-risk youth, the elderly, men and women returning from prison, homeless individuals and families, people with disabilities, and those recovering from addictions. Our work touches the mind, body, heart, and ultimately the spirit of those we serve, integrating our deep compassion with highly effective programs and services. I would like to say that Volunteers of America is a great place for any person to come if they really need help because there's nothing that they're not willing to do for you. No extra mile that they're not willing to go for you. With Volunteers of America, everybody works for you to give you the, the best possible life that you can live. In 1896, Maud and Ballington Booth envisioned a movement dedicated to reaching and uplifting the American people, and they founded Volunteers of America. The evidence of the tenderness of the heart is often as productive as the evidence of the analytical powers of the brain. It will be found extremely helpful with our ministry to cultivate tenderness and sympathy of touch. The mind grasps a plan, principle, or goal to be attained. The heart embraces love, energy, and the zeal to realize it. Ballington paved the way for charity efforts in the United States. During the Great Depression, he spoke with President Franklin Roosevelt about the necessity to reach out to Americans in need. Maud became a pioneer in the prison reform movement, visiting facilities such as Sing Sing. She also established the first halfway houses, which helped formerly incarcerated individuals readjust to society. The Boots pledge to go wherever needed and do whatever comes to hand is still honored today. Our legacy of service is a constant reminder of our spiritual roots and our commitment to reaching and uplifting the most vulnerable groups in our country. I know it's hard to believe, babe, how this could all be Seek out VOA. To me, that's, that's the bottom line. That's like a home to me. Because in my mind, in my heart, anything the VOA needs, for me, they get it hands down. And the people that work here, they give it their all. We've been around, we'll be around. Some people can't imagine doing what we do. We can't imagine not doing it.